here with Scrap and Abby, and yes, it is now established that I am officially addicted to the Dollar Tree and all things stationary from the Dollar Tree, and especially when it's purple. I mean, just look at this awesome new stationary line at the Dollar Tree, and it's got a lot of purple in it. I am just dying over here. So, I actually have a few more things from the Dollar Tree besides just this stuff, but I wanted to let you just see this picture before this spread before I moved everything together because I just posted a picture on my Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, if you don't currently follow me over on my Instagram, please make sure that you do. It's just Scrap and Abby, and um, I post a lot of sneak peeks for projects and hauls, and I'll post videos of when I'm working on a project, you know, before, just like a little teaser video before I do the full-blown edited one that's on my channel. So, um, yeah, so I always have a link in the description box below to all my social media, but I'll also put it right up here as well um, to follow me on Instagram. My name is Scrap and Abby. So I also did a quick video when I was in the store today, which is not something I typically do, but I just did that, and I will link that video below as well in my um, description of this one, but you might have already seen that one before you see this because this won't get uploaded the same day, unfortunately, because i got other videos stacked ahead of this one. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of do this because I have some things I'm going to be pulling aside for my daughter for school supplies, some for me and my um, planner supplies, and then some of this is obviously going into my ever-growing giveaway slash rack friend mail tote box I have going on. So let's just start with these. So these are some really, really cute notes, um, some sticky notes, sticker notes, excuse me. And there's 60 sheets here, and it says notes on it, simply. It's really, really cute. I will insert a video, or excuse me, a picture at the end of this video that had the whole entire display, because there's some things I did not grab. And you'll also see that in the video. It's like a 35 second video I did. So, so I, got a pack, I got two packs of those, because one for, wait, did I get two or three of these? I got two of these, one for me, and then one for my daughter. And if she doesn't want one for school, then that will get tossed into the giveaway tote. And then I grabbed some pens, and I did get three packs of the pens, actually four pack of the pens. Um, one for my daughter, because it's got the teal, one for me, and then probably a third one for us to share amongst us, um, if she really, really likes these pens, because my kid is first ladies. I love you all, but I gotta take care of my baby girl first. And then I got, um, <gasps> Oh, I didn't realize that I only... Oh, bummer. I meant to get... Aw, there are two different colors of pen sets, and I meant to grab two of each, and I grabbed three of one, but that's okay, because there's more purple in this one. So this one, um, I'm going to see if my daughter wants this one for sure, because it's got kind of the coral color she likes in it. It says love notes, doodles, and homework. So if she wants this, she gets it. If she does not, then it'll go into either my hands if I decide I like them or the giveaway sash, whichever. And then I got three packs of this as I just shared with you. It says shoulda, woulda, coulda. Really cute. And look at that. There's two pens that have purple on it. I'm just dying over here. Another one of the 60 sheet sticker notes. This one just says love and I think this is really cute and sweet. There's no magnet on the back of those, which I like. I mean, I like the magnetic ones, the list pads, because I do pick the magnets off and use them somewhere else, but sometimes it's nice to not have to do all that. So there, I got two packs of those. And then I got one pack of the pencils, which is for me because I have so many pencils, it's crazy. But I really like to get, like, collect the line, so to speak, of when the Dollar Tree, you know, puts out um, collections like this. So this is kind of for me in my stash. Don't worry, ladies, I'm going to share a lot of stuff with you. Not everything I haul, but I am sharing a lot with you, I promise. So these are some sticker notes and page flags. These are super cute. Those little flowers there on the different colored page flags. And I got a couple of those, three of those, three of those packs. So again, my daughter to kind of see if she wants them for school. Because these aren't too, um, these are look a little more like, you know, teen college like They're not like, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say. Like I have some different sticker notes and sticky notes and page flags that don't look like something my daughter would like. This looks like something she would probably like. So I want to grab a little bit extra just in case because I don't know when I'll be getting back to the Dollar Tree again since I've been there like 50 times in the last week. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so these are sticker notes and page flags again, and these are so super sweet, little blank spot for you to write whatever you want. Top of the little heart, and this is like a really cool teal, kind of my daughter's color. And then on these list pads, I only got two. I thought I'd grab more of this one because it's purple. Why didn't I grab three of this one? 
Anyway, so I grabbed two of these, and it's kind of hard to see because of the packaging, but it says shoulda, woulda, coulda, just like the pen did. And it's really cool. It's purple, so I got two of those. And then I grabbed three of these. Um, it says live what you love, so I thought those were fun. And these do not have the magnetic back on them either. And then I only grabbed one of this one, um, notes. I don't think this is something I would really use in my planning, but I'm going to see if my daughter wants it first, and if she doesn't, then I'll just keep it and put it in my stash of planner supplies, because as I mentioned, I like to um, kind of keep a collection, you know, at least one of each. Now, these I know are not new. Um, I've actually saw these at the Dollar Tree back in Oregon, and I passed them by a couple different times, because I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to like those or not, but then I saw them again, and then I didn't get them, then I'm like, okay, so now that I moved here, this is the first time I've seen these out um, at the Dollar Trees in my new area. So these are, like I said, are not new, but I wanted to try them out. I mean, I think they're cool and everything. It's not that I don't think they are. You know, I just try not to pick up every single thing in the Dollar Tree. <laughs> even though it probably looks like it. So I grabbed two of each except for, wait, no, I grabbed, did I grab two of each? See, I'm losing it, ladies. I'm losing it. Two, two, two. Yeah, I just got two of each. Now there was another pattern set I did not grab and I don't remember which one it was because I knew it was something that I would never craft with. And so, my and my own personal crafting. So these are the heart sets. These are really cool. And of course, these will go into my um, special drawer I have. Actually, it's a tote moving into one of my drawers because I'm getting so many things um, stashed in there. But different things I'm going to be sharing um, tutorials and how I craft with Dollar Tree things and how you can do a rip off of something else you saw with using cheaper supplies, that kind of thing. Um, and here are some different ones. These are some borders. These are fun. These are really cool. These really remind me of, they do have texture to them. They remind me of the plastic doilies that I remember my grandma used to have um, out. She had like real vintage nice doilies that were made of, you know, material and stuff, but, or lace and that kind of thing. But she had some of these plasticky kinds too that she would put out like when all the grandkids would come over, probably because they were easy to wipe off. But I don't know why I'm telling you that, but it just reminds me of that. So this is really super pretty. And then I got two each of the butterfly. These butterflies are adorable. I got kind of a fun idea for those already. And then I grabbed two of these lace doilies, the corner pieces, and then the doily. So really, really super cute. So I wanted to kind of get those because I've seen the ladies haul them and um, I've seen them on some of the projects and stuff. So, and these are not too exciting, but I'll share with you, with you anyway because it's in my haul. These are some uh, multi-purpose hooks, which are something I've never picked up before from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to kind of try these out compared to the command strips, which I know are totally different because you can pull a little thing down and it's totally different. I know that and I use those all the time, but I kind of have an idea for, um, hanging something that's kind of like a garlandy type of thing. So I just wanted to try these out and see if I liked them. And then maybe my husband might like these for in the garage or something or in his office or something to hang things on. I don't know. And then um, these little mini scrapers because I'm always stealing my husband's really nice one. <laughs> he doesn't care. I can take whatever. He does not care. But, you know, I want to be respectful and not, you know, have his tools and things missing or misplaced whenever I'm using them when he goes to use it himself. So I just grabbed a four pack of those, one for my craft room and then throw the rest in the junk drawer. Maybe one in my car, I don't know. And then this, these I've hauled before, suction cups. These were great, by the way. I grabbed these. Um, I bought these and tried these out in my shower versus the really, you know, the nicer ones like at Walmart that have like the double suction cup. These hold up um, all of our, you know, I don't know what you call them, like your little loofahs or your netted you know, scrubby things. It works great in there and they have not come off. And so I just really like them. But I'm going to try these in um, place of command strips if it works. If not, then I'll go to the command strips that I have. Last but not least, very exciting white glue. I know, very exciting. So I have a couple new ladies that I've been following on YouTube. I think, I'm like, why have I not found these ladies before now? One is Shannon Green and the other one I will have to put her name when I go to edit the video. Cat is the first name, but I don't know if that's the name for her YouTube channel or not. And I, of course, will link both below in case you're interested. But they have some awesome videos of where they're doing tons of mixed mixed media on journals and art journaling and a journal for no reason and just textures. And I just love it. And so it's just, that's another part of crafting. I've Like I said, I'm like a, the bucket of everything. I like all of it. 
And so I got this because I was watching one of their videos, which will be a new series on my channel coming up, by the way. Um, once I get some other projects off my list first that have been hanging there for a while. They um, just simply used some glue and they just mixed it with some, diluted it with water, which is nothing big. I know people have been doing that for years and years. I know that. But I never thought about doing that instead of using Mod Podge. And so I kind of wanted a comparison and try that versus using the Mod Podge or, you know, some different applications, maybe putting some different inks in it and coloring it and, you know, doing some resist techniques, things like that. So I just grabbed a couple bottles, obviously they're a dollar piece, and then at Walmart, um, which I shared in my other Walmart haul, just grabbed a couple of these little travel bottles, one purple because, well, you know why, and the other one is white, so I can use it for that, and then I like to have um, some extra bottles like this. These are nice because they have a flip top on them. That way you can probably see better on this one. Maybe. It's got a little flip top there. Yeah, and the little nozzle. That way I can kind of control whenever it's coming out. So these are great for like when I mix my own paints and things like that too. So that is what I have for you ladies today. I just want to share that with you. And that is actually a fib because I just looked over and saw this tiny pile. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So I did go to Beals today as well. And if you go check out the playlist that I'm going to create, and I don't know if that'll be up before this video. Either way, double check both places. I'm working on a quite a few crafty projects where I'm uh, decorating my daughter's bedroom for our new home here in Florida. And um, so I've been making tons and tons of different projects. And I went to the Beals outlet again today because I needed to get some more of the storage containers, which I'll be sharing on that particular playlist. So as I was at the checkout, of course, they always have all of these things that you want to grab at the very end of the checkout. But this I did find from the um, clearance section, and I've hauled this before. And it's just one of the little um, Kate's paperies. It's almost like a little um, insert for like a traveler's notebook or something. It's awesome. It was marked down to 99 cents and originally four bucks. So you can't beat that. So I grabbed that one. These are some cute sticky notes that I saw at the very front at the counter and I was checking out. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging. Um, I meant to do it beforehand. Sorry, because I know that that probably irritates some people. And there's like a little band on there. And then I like this hound's tooth. So I don't know what they look like inside. Oh, it's purple. Look at that. It's purple and it's magnetic. That is so cool. And oh, these are cute. And I just peeled off one because I was doing it the wrong way. So they say you got like a blank um, hound's tooth. Think outside the box, which is awesome. Another hound's tooth and then read between the lines and then another hound's tooth. So and that's a lot in there. That's really cool. I like that. And then so I got it comes two in a pack. And I think they're probably the same. Let me just double check. Yeah, they're the same. And then for this one, this is the one I caught my eye at first because it has all these cool like old fountain pens and pen nibs on there. I thought these were really cute. Oh, I see. It's a band holding them together. That's what that is, Abby. All right. So, oh, and this one's really cool. It's like a really neat distressed kind of almost like, um, you know, canvasy looking and so this one's really cool I like it it doesn't have any type of uh, you know phrase on it which is awesome because you can use this just to kind of make your point on something and you don't even have to use these things just in planners or just as leaving a note for yourself you can totally craft with this and that's a little hint to something else that's on my list ladies my brain does not shut off it doesn't you would think that happened after having brain surgery and I really did by the way for those turning to my channel I'm not joking about it um you know it's like my brain just never shuts off I just it's, it's crazy. I have this book I've had writing for years, just like a composition book where I just write down ideas and on napkins and sticky things and just the back of menus. And, you know, I just, I'm always thinking of things. And that's just, and I love it. It's, it's awesome. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. It's a really cool script. I like that. And these say, watch out in just in time. Really super cute. I love them. They had a black and white kind of leopard print, but that's not really my style. So I didn't grab those. I, but they, they were cute, of course. So anyway, that is the last of my little haul for you ladies. I hope you have a fabulous day. Again, I don't know what date I'm going to get this actually edited and uploaded. It's actually July 19th right now, which is my anniversary. But my husband's on a business trip, so I'm just busy crafting and I'll spend a little bit of money today. But I have a lot of other videos i got to get edited and put up both probably before this one. So I will see you in my next video. Happy scrapping, happy crafting, and happy planning. And uh, make sure you hit the bell tree if you like that stationary set. It's really super cute. And I'll see you next time. Bye.